D, wait for it. Wait for it. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? And have I got a story for you. Now, also down below, you can find the articles that I read to bring you this video, and you can read them for yourself or whatnot, or you can just watch this video where I'm going to read them to you. Before I get started, though, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm. And small channels like mine, we always get shoved to the back of the line. So please ask that you like, share, and subscribe, and I thank you in advance. So now that I got that out of the way, let's get started. This also comes from Deadline. Squid Game's Lee Jung Jae lands male lead in Star Wars series The Acolyte from Leslie Headland and Lucasfilm. Leslie Headland, who was an assistant to uh, one, the one that shall not be named in Hollywood. Uh, but anyways, uh, he was on Squid Games. First off, I don't know if you saw Squid Games. So good. Loved it. I don't know if season two is going to be as good. I, I feel like they should have just just ended it with just that season one because it was so good my favorite game is the bridge with the glass bridge one i won't give anything away no i'm gonna give stuff away i just loved it when um when that one guy just like pushed that dude and he just like fell through that glass i laughed every time somebody fell through the glass like i know it's hard uh core and mean but it just made me laugh so so good and then that when that woman like grabbed what's his face that that guy and she's like i told you i was gonna kill you i'm paraphrasing again i can't remember exactly how she said it. and then, then she just like launched her Herself back i was like she did tell you dude you gotta watch your back with that one and everything so all right let's get on to this article um oh acolyte takes place way before uh you know the first trilogy uh i mean the 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 uh the prequel trilogy i don't know how i, I don't leslie headland you know she doesn't strike uh something to me like she's gonna be that great and the acolyte i don't if it's anything like um the uh, the high republic because I only read a couple of those comic books and they're god awful. Um, I this won't be good. It won't be good. And I think that this is just you know. Uh, I mean, they should have canceled this show. Anyways, okay, let's read this. The eve of his potential historic night at the Emmys, Squid Game star Lee Jong Jae. Uh, looks to have found his first major American studio role following the breakout in a property more popular than the Netflix global phenomenon. Oh, real quick, before I get to the rest of this, I just want to say I have nothing against uh, Lee Jong uh, Jae. I hope he gets all uh, everybody from that show deserves to get more work. Uh, and uh, and I hope they do. I don't know how famous they are um, in Korea and over and overseas, but here in America, if they, they I hope they become popular here, too. And I, you know, Lee Jong Jae, I hope he does great on this show because, uh, um, yeah. Yeah, he did great on, on uh, that show. Anyways, okay, sources tell Deadline that Lee has landed the male lead in the new Disney Plus Star Wars series, The Acolyte from Lucasfilms. Something tells me, though, that he's going to be the male lead, but the female lead is just going to tell him the whole time how he's dumb because he's a man. Um, um, Amalda, okay, Amal, Amadala Steinberg. I don't know how you say her first name, is set for the other lead role with Deadline also recently breaking the news that Jodie Turner-Smith also is joining the cast. Uh, Leslie Headland tapped as the series director, writer, executive producer, and showrunner. Headland has been very hands-on with Lucasfilm executives, including President Kathleen Kennedy, in putting together a diverse A-list ensemble with Steinberg, Turner, Smith, and now Lee. It looks to be headed in that direction. Which, also, I'm not against diversity in a show. Um, it's just, you gotta hire good people. Um, and I will bring up examples. In Obi-Wan, they hired Moses Ingram. I have nothing against her, but she did a bad job on that show. And maybe she wasn't the best person for that job. I'm just going to throw it out there. In fact, I thought she was bad. She was just bad. And that's the only thing I've ever seen her in. I guess she was in that uh, that chess show on uh, Netflix, but I didn't see that. But yeah, she was bad. So as long as they hire good, competent actors, then I'm okay with it. Then I'm, you know, yay for, for diversity. Uh, details about Lee's character are being kept under wraps. Lucas' uh, film could not be reached for comment on casting. Uh, of course they don't. Disney has this thing they don't talk about. They don't give comments on projects that they're they're um, that are in production. They'll they'll do it after production is over with. So, um, Emmy presenters are 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 not a uh, Ariana DeBose, Squid Game stars 
Gene Smart, Jimmy Kimmel, Selena Gomez, and more. Oh, that's like, what does that have to do with anything? Anyways, The Acolyte is a mystery thriller, thriller that will take viewers into a galaxy of shadowy secrets and emerging dark side powers in the final days of the High Republic era. Disney Plus said in announcing the project in December 2020, in the real universe of Star Wars, Acolyte can refer to individuals can refer to individuals with force abilities to learn more, oh gosh, learn from a more experienced Sith Lord. Ooh. Um, Landing Lee, the acolyte, is quite the victory for Lucasfilm and Headland, given that every studio and streamer was looking to get into business with the Squid Game breakout star. Were they, though? I mean, I... Okay, whatever. It's fine. You know, we have boost him up. He does a good job. It's been a year since the Netflix series premiered, smashing streaming records, scoring 14 Emmy noms and turning Lee and his castmates into household names. He and Zhang Ho uh, Yeon will be presenters at the Emmys next week. Good for them. I'm not going to watch. I don't care. Squid Game creator uh, Huang Dong Hyuk Gosh, if I ruin any of these people's names, you can't get mad at me, okay? They'd probably mess up my name, okay? So, yeah. Anyways, on breaking Hollywood's rules uh, to ignite a global phenomenon. What's the Hollywood rules to ignite a global phenomenon? I don't get it. Anyways, not only has the series turned Lee into a global star, he. I just want to say, though, I didn't know his name name. And I don't think anybody, like, here in the States, if I said, hey, uh, Lee Jong... Uh, you know, uh, Jay, did you, do you like him as an actor? I'm pretty sure somebody on the streets would be like, I don't know who that is. But if I said this, this, the squid games guy, they'd be like, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, come on guys. Um, global star. He has been rewarded. Sorry for it on several fronts, winning every major award since its premiere and has an opportunity to make history Monday at the primetime Emmy awards in the lead actor category. Uh, after signing with CAA in February, uh, Lee first wanted to put the finishing touches on his directorial debut, Hunt, ooh, which he also stars in before its Cannes Film Festival premiere. That film recently has was required by Magnolia Pictures. Mm, I'll watch that, especially because it's called Hunt. <laughs> Sounds great. So I'm very curious to see who he'll probably play, play some force wielding person. Will he play a Sith or will he play a Jedi? Who knows? And if he doesn't play one of those, um, but it, but if you're in Star, well, if I was in Star Wars, I'd want to be a bounty hunter. I love the bounty hunters. That's like my jam. Um, but the Jedi are very cool too. I think that um, if uh, he's not playing a Jedi, it'll probably be a, a you know. A bad choice. He should play a Jedi or a Sith. He could play a Sith Lord too. He could be a baddie. He could be a big bad guy. Um, but yeah, I think that um, this is good for Lee Jong Jae. I think this is good casting in terms of the Acolyte. Um, but we'll see if that show is going to be good or if it's just going to be, you know, crap like Obi-Wan was. Obi-Wan was such crap. You can check out my reviews and stuff, but that that show sucked. Oh, hardcore. Um, but then I don't have any faith in leslie headland uh at all um she sucks uh but yeah tell me what do you guys think about this how do you feel about lee jong jay getting this uh role this lead male role in uh, the acolyte for lucasfilm and star wars you know are, are you a huge fan of lee jong jay um or are you like me and uh squid games was the first time you ever heard of him um which he he did so good i can't i can say nothing but good things about that show uh, and then, um, and and who do you think he's going to play? Do you think he's going to play a Jedi? Do you think he's going to play a Sith? And if he doesn't play some, a Force wielder, who, who do you think he'll play? You know, will he play a politician? Will he play, you know, a, like a bounty hunter, which are my favorite in the Star Wars universe? Um, but yeah, tell me what you guys think about all this. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next week. You guys have a good week. Bye.